Nice. Nice. But okay, Iron Fist. What's this? Uh oh. Par Panzer Estes Eb Ebelitung. My German is terrible as well. 100 has been located near the village of uh, Bop. Bobte? Bob. Uh, my foreign language pronunciation on the spot is terrible. Which gives us the opportunity to trap it between your battalion and the elements of the 101st Airborne coming the opposite way. Okay, so we're going to knock out a bunch of armored units. Okay, good. Yours are to, line, to link with the 506th from the 101st Airborne, thus trapping as many German troops as possible between you. As a secondary objective, try to get in contact with the local resistance. They seem they seem a bit they seem a bit over eager to get to grips with the retreating with the retreating occupier. Uh, French resistance, and could be of some help if you were able to channel their zeal. Right. Main objective: defeat the Germans. Well, that's a pretty simple. It's a pretty simple objective line we got there. Just win the war. All right, fat, fine. I hope we're getting some tanks out of this shit, or at least some Wolverines. With new divisions being brought ashore almost daily, we're finally breaking through the German defenses. Although the 101st is still heavily engaged in Carenton against the German paratroopers, the 4th Infantry Division is opening the way to Cherbourg to the north, while the 90th is leading the charge west to cut the Cotentin in two. As for us, we've been given the opportunity to settle some scores with our old friends from Panzer Abteilung 100. Abteilung, okay, good. We are about to link with elements from the 101st Airborne coming from the southeast, trapping any German units still lingering north of us, amongst which the French resistance has identified Panzer Abteilung 100 retreating towards the village of Bolt and attempted to harass it on its way. The ambush appeared to have worked well at first until the local FFI partisans encountered Fallschirmjäger forming the rear guard of the German column. The FFI have been pushed back into the woods, surrounded. Our orders are to link with the 101st and seal the pocket, destroying Panzer Abteilung 100 in the process, and if we can, to give the partisans some assistance. Yet beware of those Fallschirmjäger. They are no ordinary soldiers, and intel can't tell us much about their strength. Great. Great. It's payback time. All right, so... What we got to do is we got to destroy them. needs us. Get map control. Compose All right. your battle group. All right. So what this is actually so this is what we're so this we're actually playing the actual standard moment. We need map control. We need to basically surround the enemy completely and hold them there for as long as possible. If not, totally destroy them. Their deployment, it looks like I got roads coming from this direction and this direction. We're going to send infantry all up in these woods and to take out those fucking Fallschirmjägers because there's nothing else that can get into these fucking woods and actually actually do anything. The line of sights are going to be heavily restricted to any form of armored unit, so they're going to be completely fucking worthless. So, the infantry goes this way. Armor goes this way. Let's see what we've got here. Recon. Pathfinders. Glory to the Pathfinders. And also, one Scott. I mean, one, one Greyhound. We're almost out of Greyhounds. They are keeping track of my losses. So Greyhounds, and then some recon troops. Infantry! The western part of the area is covered with forest. Expect intense close-range combat there. It is important to support your infantry there, with leaders to strengthen them. Right, so we need leaders, and we're going to send in some of the engineers, but we're going to rely mostly on the rifles to do the heavy lifting. Right. Glider rifles as reinforcements. It's gonna be, there's going to be one really big mass of infantry because that's all there really needs to be. Finally, we will get heavier armored support. M4A1 are inferior to standard German tanks, but the M4A3, with their more powerful 76 millimeter guns, are better armed to deal with them. Oh, good, 76 Shermans, fan fucking tastic. My DDs are doing the job perfectly fine, but I would like a Commander Sherman. That would be nice. Calling my two DDs. 
and then call in the, com the comm Sherman and then support that with the 76 Shermans. Just in case we need to take out something really big. And we'll have that back there. Okay, so support. Right. Command vehicles are nice. The ducks... You see, this is the thing. Half the time, I'm not even resupplying my units, so honestly, resupplying stuff is kind of irrelevant. But we'll have it there just in case. We'll have a couple of jeeps just in case we need something with a machine gun. And also, a reserve command unit to send in there just in case something goes wrong. Actually, you know what? We could also take the Scott just in case we run into anything with... Uh, well, we could probably... Attempt to use them to support the infantry in the forest. Attempt. M10A1 tank destroyers are excellent hunters, armed with a 76 millimeter anti-tank gun. Unfortunately, they won't be available till phase C. Oh, good, Wolverines, fantastic. We'll call them in. Actually, this is the main card, so take that. We'll have two cards of them. The Luftwaffe have been weakened. It should not be a problem here. We should use our remaining planes for ground support. Be aware that German flank is always dangerous. German flank. It's flak, sir. It's pronounced flak. Right. The flak 88 here. And also we're going to call in the... We're, we're, we're going to call in the, the, the AA units just to harass the enemy infantry. If we can actually get there. As for support, or rather a artillery, we're just going to keep... We're, we're just going to keep rolling with the ops. They, they do the job. Oh, good. An op Sherman. Interesting. Right. Honestly, at this point... <laughs> I'm kind of eating my words when I said I didn't really have a place for, for, you know, the artillery batteries. Right now, honestly, maneuvering ar artillery on the map is so much, is so fucking absolutely clunky that I can almost never use them. So honestly, right now, I am actually relying on the ops more. Oh, well. Funny how a campaign can actually show you how, to, how you're using units. And okay, so what do we got? Oh, we can call them marauders. Fantastic. Good. Good, 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 good. Look at these Marauders. Okay, so. Grasshopper. Marauder. And then... Thunderbolt. I don't think we're going to be able to call in multiple Marauders, so it doesn't really matter. These actually... Oh. See, look at that. These... Even though they're basically the same fucking... Also, they have machine guns. They can use be used for ground attack. Marauders have frontal machine guns, which is why they're kind of the silliest fucking units. Doesn't look like these units are actually equipped with them, though. They used to have machine gun blisters, or they should have machine gun blisters here and here, and then here and here. They're kind of out, they're outfitted like B-25s, but the uh, the B-25s get more screen time. It seems like they've just got turrets, though. So we won't be able to use that. But the one thing I wanted to note here is that, see, these have an HE power of 10, and these have an HE power of 25. So you know what? We're going to call this in. Rather, the, these. Actually, hang on here. 10, 10, and then the 25. I have no idea why the fuck that's like that, but okay. We barely get enough points for Air Force, or our Air Forces anyway. I think what we're going to try and do, aside from getting our tanks and our infantry out there, I think we're gonna, what we're going to do is try and basically shell the false Jaegers into oblivion. This seems like a good idea, right? Well, let's see if we can wrap this up, folks. Off we go. All right, recon, rifles, tanks, support units of some variety, wolverines, and, you know, a bunch of other comedy units to sort everything out. All right, let's get rolling. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to get to the, we need to get to the French. So what we're going to do is we're just going to send a jeep full of recon units to link up with the French immediately. Then we're going to send our pathfinders, these guys over here, and then we're also going to bring the leader, and then as many fucking rifles as we can possibly fucking get our hands on. Right over there. So we have something that can just sort of wade into that big fucking open area full of Falschermakers. And then for some... Though we probably shouldn't take that many fucking rec that many infantry. We need some tanks on the other flank. I want to go all in, but it doesn't look like they're going to let me. We need at least two of our DDs out here. See, major position would be probably about here, even though the enemy units are going to be coming from that direction too, but they can't really do anything over there. 
Okay, so these guys also need recon of some description, so we're gonna give them a group of Pathfinders to actually help escort them. They're gonna be on the defensive until we get more units. Okay then, let's get rolling. We'll call in artillery OPs after we know what the fuck is going on. Hmm. 150, right? Alright, so we'll just cram... We'll, we'll use the engineers. We'll attempt to use the engineers. Alright, let's go. We've been able to hail the 506th on the radio, Major. They're close. Once we've linked with them, we could trap a lot of Germans. Looks like the French are actually surrounded, so this is going to be a bit of a bitch. Nothing to report. So we're going to move our units up here and then just sort of wait. All right. See, the Germans have map control right now, but as you as you see... Oh, wait a minute. That was a plane. What was that? Oh, it's recon. Oh, okay. So you were fucking with that, huh? I ain't got anything to take that out right now. Fucking Luftwaffe shouldn't be a problem, they fucking said. Fuckers. Why is the commander out in front? Ten four, good buddy. Alright, these guys... Where you get off. These guys are gonna be over here. To these guys are gonna go over here and actually fucking dismount. They know where I am. That's a problem. But I'm gonna get rid of that problem pretty fucking quick. I don't have enough to call in fucking anything to kick him out right at this moment, though. Good hit. Good hit. All right. Everybody out. This is Enemy spotted. We're gonna try and cut off the enemy's resupply since they're coming from this direction. We're gonna try and well, they're trying to capture the French in a bubble, but we're gonna capture them in a bubble. But also, what the fuck happened here? Where are we headed? Where did these guys come from? Good on you, DDs, for actually, actually being able to actually sort that shit out. But Jesus fucking Christ. You see, you stop looking, and sometimes things just go absolutely terribly fucking wrong. But okay. So the French... French are kind of in a bad way. Germans ahead. So we're gonna need more units. Oh, look at all this shit. Hi, Jerry! These guys have any tank Any tank right? 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 Pathfinders, what are you doing? Get out of there. Why are you at the front in front of anything? Good, here come the fucking bazookas. Knock him dead! Knock him dead! dead. Alright, where are the Shermans? Shermans! Shermans are kinda okay, but they're being shelled. There are crops out there. We'll find them. I need better I need better visuals. Red six, mount it up. And this this really open position here is giving me really bad feelings. I'm getting really bad negative waves here, people. But okay, so. Corey, Corey, what a hell of a way to die. Alright. So he's got a tank over there. It looks like we can actually. At least, like, it looks like the Fallschirmjägers are basically gonna be fucked as soon as they try anything. Fire. Knock that fucking tank out. Get in there! Quick! Knock him out! Get him! Get him! Good! Dead. Now knock out everything else! And the Pathfinders were, of course, in the front of everything. All right. All right, these units are gonna move over there. Support. Where's that already? Right. Gonna have to slowly crawl up here and try and knock these guys out. I need to get you into range so I can suppress these units. For God's sake. Yes, sir. Get fucking moving. Waiting for orders. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's actually shit. Oh, they got B2s. Oh no! Alright, well I gotta need I'm gonna need some anti-tank guns to take that out. But the only problem is I didn't take any! Shit! 
God damn it. Alright, I didn't think the armor pressing was gonna be that big. But now they've got a bunch of comedy vehicles. Get down, it's gonna blow. Looking for targets. You need to get closer. My units are getting torn apart now because they're suppressed. Fucking hell. Jerry's dead. Roger. Yes, sir. Off 300. Five rounds. Over. Move on. That's not good. But at least we have map control. Not very big map control, but we have map control. Okay, we still got our leader in here, right? Yes, sir. No, we don't. Move on. We need to get one in here. All right, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's saying. Good. We've lost contact with several patrols on our right flank, Major. Something smells fishy here. Well, it looks like the enemy is, uh, well, being broken apart. It looks like there's something going on here. So, we need to actually resupply our units. Somebody actually surrendered. How about that? I need those units dead, and I need them permanently dead. Right, five, four, three, two, one, shot out. Closer, please. Come on now! Carry the wing, sir. We need more feet here! You guys aren't hitting close enough. Ne not, not nearly now center of that fucking zone. Orders. Adjust your fucking sights, people. Sir! It looks like the enemy is basically fucking around on this flank, though. They've got a pretty I big armored force. So I'm gonna take orders. I'm gonna take my Shermans, and I'm gonna go this way. How are they fucking not dead yet? Yes, sir. I know I got more ops, so I'm gonna call more mid. To make sure these guys are fucking dead. One more hit and we're done! Need some more rifles in this position. Be careful. Link up with these Frenchies. And this resistance is calling for help, Major. They're about to be crushed. I'm here, and they're perfectly fine. They ain't gotten shot at. What are you doing? Who's fucking what who's leg you trying to pull, Frenchie? You're fucking fine! Good! Those tanks are dead. Fan fucking tastic. Not you! This whole fucking area. Crowds in the open. Fire for effect. Ready, sir. Yeah, you know what? Just emergency barrage this entire fucking area. You boys move out. We're supposed to be surrounded. You got about 20 seconds to get out of that zone before you get fucking marked too, so keep going. Also, oh boy. You boys better turn your fucking holes. I am not gonna- I am not gonna be the one to send a fucking letter home to your mother when you are sitting there side on to the enemy and you get knocked out. Fucking idiots. Alright, looks like we've got something resembling a hardened position here. We are winning more conquest points. Uh, Frenchies. Any fucking day now. Need a lift? 
Knock the conscripts out. The siege partisans are safe now. They're offering their services to fight the Germans. We'll fucking hop to it. Our new partisan friends have contacted some of their comrades who have captured a workshop from Panzer Up 2 Long 100 near Bucked. They've Ooh. salvaged some old French tanks and are bringing them to the fight. <laughs> well, look at this. I got a bunch of H-35s. Oh, and a B-2. Ooh. De Gaulle would be proud. Alright, good. We're gonna use them, and we're gonna push up. We're listening. And then we're gonna take out the rest of these fucking units in this goddamn forest. That's that's in that that's an anti-tank gun. German reinforcements are on our right flank, sir. Mm. Panzer grenadiers with armored support. According to our scouts, they're from 17 SS. How the hell could Intel have screwed up like this? Oh great. So that means uh oh. Stugs? Holy fucking shit! I don't see any panthers, but stugs are worrying enough! Where the fuck did all these guys come from? This is getting kind of touchy. But it looks like we have this under somewhat control. However, I did lose a DD, son of a bitch. Good at you bounce that fucking shot. Alright, Frenchies! Go take out your own tanks! I'm- I'm- I'm gonna pretend that De Gaulle is this one commander B2. He better do a good fucking job. Alright, things are going kinda shitty in this side of the forest. But I need to- I need to get start knocking shit out. Oh good, we've got reinforcements. Fantastic. Alright. At least off the map reinforcement, so I don't have to do everything my fucking self. We got a problem here, though. And that problem is we're getting shot at by fucking. Yeah, some form of artillery. Back up, back up. Where's our artillery posts? These guys, we don't have any tanks to push up, but we're gonna oh, need them later. Guy. Take care. This plane is fragile. This is bad. One last crowd. Also, we're gonna call in the Thunderbolt just to fuck with people. These recon units. These guys! You need to get into a fucking- you, you need to get somewhere where you can actually shell the goddamn Germans. Get up there! You guys just sit there and watch. Okay, so... Well, most of my armored forces are now burning in the middle of that fucking field. It looks like the Gaul made it out. Good on him. Ready, sir. Well, I need to actually get close. Or get closer. Roger. Oh, good. I can call it 70... I, A76 Sherman now. Standing by. We need to know what's going on in this flank, so I need my fucking... I need my grasshoppers to tell me. We're slowly winning a conquest victory. Very, very slowly. Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna have enough units to keep this shit going, though. These flamethrower units. What are you all fucking doing? Yes, sir. Out there. Shoot first and ask questions later. Alright, so. My battery posts are out of artillery. At least those guys are. Alright, now these guys. I need emergency fucking fire on this entire goddamn area! Nothing gets out! Do you hear me? Nothing gets out! ...is going well, Major, or on schedule. Oh, 
Also, I need something resembling... Actually, no. No, no, I don't need infantry. I need tanks. I need fucking tanks to take out other tanks. So A76 Sherman would considerably help my chances out here. Okay, good. The artillery batteries did their fucking job. I think the goal got knocked out. No, the goal's still fucking fighting. Good on you. I need you to kill more fucking Germans though. Like that stunt. Get in there. Come on. He's falling back. I need a line of sight on that fucking stunt. God damn it. Get in those damn bushes. That stunt! Knock him out! That's not dead, son! Where are you fucking shooting? Who got him? Oh, wait, what? The goal? Was that you? I didn't see. We're gonna have to check the. We're gonna have to check the kill rates or the kill reports. All right, we need more emergency artillery barrages. Okay, so what's going on here? I think my infantry are basically falling apart now. Because the damn Fulschemjägers. It's nice to see that the regular army is now taking their sweet ass time getting up to us. I think we're about done on this flank. But at least we cut them off. We need to get rid of these fucking tanks though. A command Sherman. I'll take a command Sherman. And again, actually no, I don't need that. But, I got two minutes until I get something else. I need more guns. 88, good. That'll help. But, my units down there aren't exactly having a great fucking time. And that B2 especially. I need to take out these light armor units. Good. Take out the tin cans. Looks like the artillery is actually doing its fucking job again. You would be blind without us. Uh oh. Get! Move on. Take care. This plane is fragile. All right, those nerval warfers are fucking next. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to hold this position very well, like very long though. We won't go at all. On the ball. Let's try to get shit. Choose your targets. You, need, you guys need to clear out these fucking woods. Any fucking day now would be fantastic. Order, and this fucking B2 needs to get dropped. I have All right. a great view from here. Alright, so here is our artillery Engaging battery. The enemy. And here is where the Thunderbolt's going to come in and knock at the fucking smithereens. Fuck is down. Everybody watch and clap. Right. I'm here. Clapping makes it better. And makes the rockets explode with more, well, more energy. They're powered by the, the hopes and dreams of the American people. Even if you're not American, you should still clap. Alright. Now, face... I'm... Well, get out of there. Looks like I'm gonna lose that grasshopper. Ready for some fireworks? I'd like to get this... Oh, wrong button. I've forgotten. I, how do I get rid of this? I don't actually. <laughs> I forgot. Are you having trouble taking out a B2, son? He's firing the 76 at you! God damn it. Roger. Look at, look at how slow that is. Holy shit. Yes, sir. Let's roll. It's not fucking space magic! 
It's the same caliber as your fucking gun, genius! Oh boy. Take out that fucking tank. Good! Swear to fucking god. Uh, Alright, phase C is incoming. We should be able to advance now. Got a recon unit here. This Sherman is falling back into useless, but fuck it, we don't need him anymore. Don't shoot! Well, that's the last of our airborne units over there. Well. They're gonna run into the regular army now, so at least we've got that. Now we basically what we're gonna focus on now is just getting our units through here. That means massing as many actually, not you. But let's see here. Eleven armor. Eight armor. But they have accuracy six. And the 76 Shermans also have accurate. What the f down? All right, so the 76 Shermans are better. Rather, let's see here. AP 13. AP 13. Same fucking thing. Okay. Now that I know that's irrelevant. Sometimes the Eugen. Sometimes the Eugen games can be kind of stupid like that. Well, they'll, they'll have two units with the exact same thing. Like for example, the Marauders, with the exact same fucking thing, somehow being more effective. But, it seems like the Wolverines are going to be back up. Because we are out of 76 Shermans. Now we're going to slowly advance through this shithole and clear out the rest of these Germans. We need morphine here. Oh good, these guys are still knocking out tanks. That's a Stu-42, holy crap. That's a new one. Can you take him out though? Can you do it? No, you're not. Those tanks are running into a flank full of infantry, though, so they're just gonna have a- uh, just a- just an absolutely fun fucking time over there. We're not gonna have to worry about them. I wanna call- I wanna think about calling in that Marauder, though, but we still need- They look like ants from up here. Still need something resembling intelligence. Don't shoot! You know, in a broad sense, as well as just the, the literal sense. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright, you all- you all regroup here. That 88, that fucking 88 we captured in St. Maricles is still fucking knocking them dead. Good. Then again, that one got knocked out, so I'm not exactly sure where we got the second one from. Oh well. Okay, good. The Marauder in business. The, Mar the Marauder is in business. So now we're gonna slowly walk through this field with reconnaissance, and we're gonna knock out as many fucking tanks as we can get. Or it's not got as many anythings, really. Sake. All these units could be better moved up here, but I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna actually have to... I'll, I'll use them when we actually run into a problem. See? Very nice. Look at all the dead Germans. I have these guys attack move up forward. If they see anything, they stop and shoot. Very simple. Now I got that Marauder, but what am I gonna use it on? Ready to attack, Control. Seems like we're gonna lose the center here, but I need to keep pushing in this direction. Maybe I can sabotage their front lines. Okay, we'll keep. The On my way, control. I didn't mean to call him in, but now he's here. This anti-tank gun. That's an 88. Fuck that. Get rid of that. Then again, it looks like somebody already got that. Let's make sure it's dead. Copy that, Raven leader. Raven 4, ready to strike. I see an artillery gun in there, but let's see if we can knock these guys out, too. Heading back home. Come on, Marauder, knock him dead. Well, I hope that did something. I hope I got a kill, at least. They're at least stalled now. Good hit. Good hit. Something is shelling me from off the map. Ready, sir. It's that fucking, uh, that's, it's that fucking Schwimmwagen. That son of a bitch! Yes, sir. But I can't shoot him from here. We can't take anymore. You see, look at this fucking absolutely, just, arm-twisting, ball-breaking line of sight. Well, at least we got him. Recon here is still up. Hmm. 
I think we can call in more M10. Yes, we can call in more M10s. I'm hit! Oh, God damn it! The artillery batteries are getting knocked out. Tank destroyer ready. Jerry's dead. If I got any more infantry, I got some rifles here. I'm gonna send them over here because it looks like there's some infantry moving around in this field. We've got still got map. We still got map majority, but we still need to actually hold them down. Good shot, boys. You get rid of them inventory. Good. Good. Now we got a big ball of fucking tanks. Fantastic. The way I like to play every video game, and that includes tanks. That stug is suppressed. See if they can actually kill the stug. Good. Get- now get out of that goddamn pocket! We got a lightning out there. At least there's that. This a- this 88 though. I don't like this 88! Here it comes. Come on! Fucking kill him! Good! Also, this marauder can evacuate. The bombs are out. It's not exactly the, the you know, the glorious 50 I expected out of 50 cals, but you know what? We'll do it. We'll do fine. Alright. So it looks like we're doing alright. Not exactly the most amazing we could, could be doing right now. We're not immediately destroying all of the enemy and crushing them, but we're doing okay. I think what we need to do is send another tank force out here. So it looks like the enemy is dug in here. So, I'm gonna call in two Wolverines and a Command Sherman and send them into this area. They don't have any recon, but, well, they're gonna have to do without it. Can you guys take out something around you? This is AA standing right here. Line of sight. This game is really fucky with this. And that's why you gotta be careful with it. Looks like the Greyhound's gonna get it, though. Greyhound's got it. Good. All right, boys, keep moving. Let's try and limit our exposure to these fucking absolutely deadly corners. That's a pack fifty. Ready to blow some tanks, sir. Go, troopers! Back, back, back! Yes, sir. You guys are gonna be afraid of a pack fifty? He's pinned down. I don't have anything. I'm gonna move these artillery OPs over here, because it doesn't look like there's anything over here they can really shell. Okay, we need more recon. Back, back, back. The question is, are we gonna have time to actually employ it? Nice shooting, Gunner. It looks like whatever the fuck was over here just kinda evaporated. It looks like they were just kinda holding onto this zone with hopes and dreams. Which is good, that gets us more points. So it looks like we gotta set up a defensive position around here. I think we could do that with all these units. Jerry's dead. Looks like our tanks are gonna need supplies though, so we're gonna call them up here just in case just so we can have a very good solid position. Please kill the infantry units you are shooting at. Red six, mount it up. Okay, good. I love it. So many positive waves. They're gonna move the tanks up here. Because the Oh, okay, the deployment zone is right there and there. So we gotta be careful about this. So maybe I send them here. But you see the line of sight here. Uh oh, that's a problem. Shoot him! Oh boy. Ooh. What? Oh. Wait, those are T26s. Where the fuck did they get those from? Those are those count as tank destroyers? He's scaring the shit out of me. I thought those were stuns. Holy hell. Well. Knocking them dead, folks. Yes, sir. I'm gonna get recon into this area. 
It looks like we're, well, we're winning the, uh... We're, we're winning the land war here, which is good, because I like this. This is what a multiplayer match is going to be somewhat like. Since it's basically multiple people fighting for purely map control, take and hold. And this is a lot of, uh, this is a lot more, I think... Rather than having set control points, this is actually a lot more, I think, historically accurate, I suppose. Even though I am still rubbing tanks on everything. But you know what? It's hard historically inaccurate. Ac it's hard historically accurate. It, no. It looks like we're about done here, folks. Any day now. Thank you. All right. Good. It seems like we've cut the enemy off from this position as well, so we're just gonna sit here and shoot at anything coming from that direction as well. Where are my artillery OPs? Ready, sir. Or actually, actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna send these units up here. Jerry's dead. And then have the artillery it won't OPs. Won't be long before all those trapped in the pocket surrender, Major. We just have to hold on a little longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These guys are gonna sit right fucking here, and they're gonna yeah, wait. Sir. They're gonna wait so they can see. Literally anything that comes down the fucking road. But wait right here, we're gonna bring the supply wait, units over here, here, and then we're gonna use the artillery OPs to shell this general area to down. fucking kingdom come. Drop 300. Five rounds. Over. I see movement. Okay. And now they are useless. And now, they will retreat back to the over, rear lines. Over. And now these right, units sir. are gonna move over here. Honestly, the main problem why I'm not terribly good at this game is because my focus has shifted to so many different fucking things at once. That's mm, probably why I'm not amazing at this game in terms of multiplayer. But I do get by, I like to think. Let's move these guys over here. Because once again, this fucking tree line is blocking any sort of fight that we're- any, any sort of line of sight that we're gonna get. And we're at plus four conquest points. This game is in hand. What the hell is over here that's stopping us, though? They got something in the trees here? Because there's something here, obviously. But nobody can see it. Where is it? Oh, Jesus! Well, we found it! It was a bunch of flamethrowers! That's a nasty surprise. We got plenty of, uh, well, plenty of everything else, but not a lot of units to actually call in. So we're gonna just call, call, gonna call in anything that we can to just take and hold map control. They'll figure it out. All right, the AA units. That I could have used beforehand, but you know what, the tanks were doing a pretty okay job. And we still have, we have an O, we have a Sherman OP, which is, well, it's still, it still, it still counts as a Sherman, right? I'll report to you and I'll get there. Okay, so let's see if we can push in here in the time we've got left, but it looks like we're basically done now. This is it, folks. France is secured! Bah! Germans trapped in the pocket are coming to our outpost in their hundreds to surrender, Major. We bagged them. Wait, guys, those guys were surrendering! Ah, uh, well. Link up with the 101st Airborne is made, and armored forces are pouring in from the beaches. Beachhead is now secured. Time to go on the offensive. Next stop, Cherbourg. Which is unfortunately French town not appearing in this film. It seems like we're done with the American campaign, folks. That was a pretty good. That was a pretty good show, wasn't it? This game is absolutely hell, but, you know, it's fun when you actually figure it the fuck out. It's good that I've actually sat down and figured out exactly how to play the game before I did the Let's Play. You know, one time I'm gonna actually sit and figure out how to play a video game. But I had luck. There was there was an open beta and I could sit around and just bounce off the AI. So, I figured out how to kind of play the video game. And it seems like it worked to pretty good effect now. But let's see here. 
Right, 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 right. So, who killed that fucking stug? Yeah, the Navy battery got eh, good on them. You see, that's the thing. I don't actually, like, see, that's the thing. I was, I was like, oh, I don't know how to use artillery gun, or, or you know, ar artillery OPs. They seem kind of odd and kind of, uh, you know, they take forever to hit the ground. But it seems like in the campaign, the AI is more than, more, more than, more, more than welcoming to just sit down and wait for the artillery strike to hit the ground on top of them. Playing against the AI in the multiplayer skirmish, it doesn't work as well. So I tend to not use artillery at all, even though I should in a lot of cases. But there's a lot of shit to manage in this fucking game. So, who killed the Stug? We got one Stug here, and that's 76 Sherman. Basically, it blew everything to fucking smithereens. But where is... Okay, that's one... Did, did we only have one Sharp? Yes. I think... It, I, so, it must have been the Sherman, then, if we only have one of those. Thunderbolt, good on you. 76 Shermans basically wrapped up everything. Yep. And the Marauder did, in fact, kill something. Good on him! All right, so... De Gaulle did not get the Stug. It was the Sherman. There we go. But we did. Our tanks certainly did wipe out a considerably large portion of the enemy during this game. But like I said, as you can see, infantry in enclosed positions can be absolute hell to deal with. But if you can get tanks out in the open, that's when they're really effective. However, if they're out in the open, that means the anti-tank guns can shoot at them. But we got really lucky here. They did not. They did not throw as many anti-tank guns as they really, sh as they, you know, as I really expected them to, to knock out all of our fucking tanks in a skirmish. Oh my fucking god! The amount of shit that you have to basically wade through to get your tanks out in the open is fucking terrifying. But at least in the campaign, it seems like they were nice about this whole thing. So, well. That brings the American campaign to a close, ladies and gentlemen. Or I expect it to be. Yep, all Americans. <laughs> all right, so Mission Boston is secured and everything is all nice and happy. Next stop, Rommel's Comedy Brigade. But we'll take care of that next time. But until then, I have been your wonderful host, Fontelman, and thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.